Hi everyone! As you can see today, in front of me, I have philodendron. Uh, I don't know how to exactly say the name of this philodendron, but I'm going to try. Uh, I think it's called BP Nut Fifidum philodendron. I'm going to post the exact ID so you can uh, read. I always loved this philodendron. I thought it's such a uh, interesting looking because of its trunk uh, stem that as it ages, it looks like it has eyes. So for me, it was always more attractive looking than Monstera deliciosa. And um, we have a lot of this philodendron at the conservatory. A lot of times they grow, you know, new uh, branches, new plants. And when they start those new plants, they will have maybe a node that is like inch and a half, two inch. <coughs> and I was always wondering if you can cut them and propagate them in water. So I wanted to perform that experiment. So about two and a half months ago, when one uh, plant started growing out of the philodendron, I cut it and it had only two leaves and one was getting yellow. And I uh, placed it in the water. I was changing water every week and uh, it was very interesting to look how it's forming uh, roots and how uh, with time started growing some leaves so here it is guys um, first it grew um, root that is as as thick as my um, finger and <clears throat> then that um, root started growing smaller roots and then those smaller roots now I think it's kind of harder to see just to give you example here of the if you can see these smaller roots second type of roots how it's growing now right here in the middle some smaller roots out of those second roots they're all over growing i think uh, i can't show it quite well with camera but um so that's third type of root very exciting and then in addition to that it started growing another new root as you can see here and then another one on this side this little one just started uh, this week and then it is and as it was uh growing roots it started forming leaves and this one that's more recently opened when it opened about a week ago it was so fragile looking pale and gentle but it quickly in like a week it got firmer and it got greener so it's very interesting uh, to look how fast these uh, get thick and uh, strong and they love facing south they love direct like a ton of light and here is one eye formed this is how those eyes look like uh, it's gonna be unfortunately uh, under soil because of this root that's coming out so I think later um, I'm gonna hopefully be able to show you more of them as it ages. These also grow aerial roots that will grow toward the soil to uh, make the plant firmer. And they do require a lot of space, so I don't know how this is gonna fit here, but I just love this plant, so I wanna try. I think it's ready to be potted today. So I'm gonna use a mixture of cocoa break uh, soil, succulent cactus, it's organic espoma soil, perlite, um, orchid um, soil, and a little bit of um, stones uh, mixed in. So I hope that's gonna be a good mixture for it. Um, I have been researching a little bit about it and um, I have imagined this plant in a taller planter like the one that I have, I'll show you. Kind of like this planter that I have for my six on fire. Um, that's a little bit deeper and kind of looks elegant and it would fit with our flooring. And then I was thinking that it would be interesting having something draped down uh, the pot that will fit well with the philodendron. And I imagined plant that would go with it to be something like string of turtles. And I was so fortunate that I actually found this plant in Lowe's. And uh, I got it, I think about three weeks ago. So it grew even more since. It's, I think it's a pretty fast grower. I haven't propagated that one yet, but I, I think I would like to do that in future. And uh, I think I'm gonna try to do that uh, right now. Uh, pot this one and then try to get that draping look with the uh, string of turtles so let's start 
The pot that I'm using is a black plastic pot that I got from Walmart, really cheap, um, under $5. And it's 12 inch wide and it has that double bottom. It's considered a self-watering uh, pot. Um, it's probably not ideal, terracotta pots are the best, but um, I don't know if this is going to be a permanent pot for this plant and for now black works well with my surroundings and it's easier and lighter for me to manage if I need to move plants around. So guys I mixed the soil and I am ready to pot this philodendron. Maybe I should have added a little more soil to begin with. I hope this is not going to be a too big of a pot for this philodendron for now. It is going to share space with another plant, so I thought that's going to be a good first pot. I decided to work outside today even though it's still a little cold this morning, but it's supposed to be a pretty nice day today, I think 70 degrees which is um, pretty early here in Michigan, beginning of April to have such a nice weather. Um, all right guys, I think, I think this is good. Um, next thing I wanna do is um, put this uh, string of turtles over there. I was so fortunate to find this one. Th this one is kind of hard to find guys. Uh, I have never seen it in the stores. It's so expensive online. And when I found this one at Lowe's, <laughs> I came back 24 hours later and they were all sold out. But I am glad I grabbed one. They were like literally just uh, opening the boxes with plants. There is something that caught, got caught here. I did notice that this one is pretty fragile, kind of like a string of pearls. Um, so it loses a lot of leaves. Um, I imagine this draping uh, from this pot or whatever else, other pot this philodendron will have. I think the colors go well and just the uh, differences in shapes that they will complement each other very nice. So I knew I'm gonna make mess pulling this one out. Okay, so here is how it looks guys. I have to kind of split it in half um, because I wanted to have it around the pot. Mm, maybe I should have done under the pot. thinking if this is going to be the side that I'm going to be looking at. So I have to make some space for it now. Look at how cute these are. So this is how it's going to look guys and I'm going to clean it up and then place it on the, on the stool that I'm keeping it on by the window that's facing south and I'm going to show you how it looks finally at the end. And here it is guys, final look of my philodendron, put it together by a string of turtles facing south together with euphorbias. I didn't didn't want this to look so dense. I was hoping for more of like uh, like trailing all around the pod, but these were like really tangled up and hard to separate. So I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna have to take a lot of cuttings and propagate so that it doesn't look so dense. What do you guys think? 
Um, you can give me suggestions if you think I can improve this look. I can't wait to see more leaves coming out here and see that stem forming with the eyes. Uh, I'm going to be so excited to see that. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon in the next video.